Oh yeah, what's happening everybody? Just Shock Blast. Check it out. The Death Trooper Specialist from Hot Toys and Sideshow Collectibles. Wow, this thing is looking dope. I cannot wait to open it. My camera is going to die soon, so we're going to try to make this quick, which is not my forte. But uh, let's, uh, let's go. Go ahead and open this up. It's got this new addition to the packaging down here. Um, it's kind of, I don't like it actually. I wish it was just in the packaging and not like just a little part of it. It's, it's nice. Like I like the, the silvery kind of, um, you know, reflective print, but, uh, it's just actually kind of annoying, uh, that it sticks out that way. I don't know what it's exactly for. It's taped on, on the inside, which is weird. But, um, anyway rambling uh there is the money shot and bam there he is so let's go ahead and uh, get him out here all right so uh, obviously he's got tons of hands so Position them however you so choose. All right, so he's got this blaster pistol. Uh, I'm not 100% sure which model that is. Uh, he's got a little satchel here, and uh, we've got some uh, little joints. Uh, there's some magnets here. And then we have his primary blaster rifle. Right here. And here he is. So you have something to look at. Uh, the black on black background is probably not working very well. So we're going to move the box. And... So it's got like this uh, interesting kind of top. It's not actually part of the mat. I don't know if it's a sticker or not. Um, should probably look at the book. But there is the stand. And we're gonna get this out of the way. So this is a pretty cool looking figure. I can def definitely tell you that. Um, Rogue One is in theaters, I want to say the 16th of December in the U.S. I bought my tickets. Um, unfortunately, I bought 3D. I hate 3D. So here's a little Rogue One Death Trooper book. Uh, I'm not a big fan of 3D. Oh, wow, his eyes light up. So those are actually batteries, not magnets, I believe. Um, they don't really tell you what to do with the stand, so, alright, let's get all this, uh, plastic nonsense off of here. So his eyes light up. That's that's interesting. Was not aware of that. Um, but I guess it makes sense now because in every image that I've seen of him, uh, he has had green eyes. So I guess it makes sense that they light up. Uh, we'll take a closer look in just a moment. Um... So yeah, I don't know if this is a sticker or not. I don't think it's a sticker. I've never seen them actually do this. Um, so like the bottom of the base is just plain. And it's got the square for the Death Trooper stand. Um, I, I just don't know if it peels off or not. 
think it does. Yeah, it's a sticker. I don't like that. I, I wish that it was just already kind of on. Um, I don't want to be the one making that mistake, but uh, it was easy enough to just apply on its own. It has a nice finish to it. So now there we go. It's on there. A uh, little plastic there. I love, love the stand. Um, if you could look here, it says Star Wars Imperial Death Specialist. And... Ah, uh, perfect. So there's also this extra piece right here that I believe you put right there. But it doesn't seem to click into place or anything. So... Not really sure what that's all about. Uh, I think they could have done a better job with the stand, you know, putting it together and whatnot. Um, because now I had to... Oh, now this won't go in, will it? There we go. All right, so here he is on his stand. And let's take a closer look. So there he is. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna stop the video real quick and I'm gonna go ahead and put the batteries in, or at least open up the helmet. Uh, that'll give my camera a little bit of time to recharge. I didn't realize it was gonna die until uh, I started recording, and now that I'm already into the unboxing, I don't wanna lose it, so. Uh, so we'll go ahead and do that. We'll check right back in. All right, so we're back, and uh, I am so glad I did not record myself trying to put those batteries in. It's very rare that I complain about anything. As you can see, his visor's not on because either mine came with dead batteries or it came with a dead visor. And the design on this is awful. Like, I, I very rarely say anything negative about these because I typically love them. Um, but this is probably the dumbest idea ever. First of all, You've got this top that comes off, which is fine, all right? And as you can see on the top, there's an on-off switch. It's set to on. I don't know how well it's in, in focus right now, but there's a little screw that you have to unscrew to take off the top of the battery, and that's fine. But once you take that off, there's a magnet there to hold this on, and it hits the batteries every time you try to put them in. So the batteries, like, they're constantly pulling themselves out when you try to put the second one in and the third one in, there's three batteries, three tiny little batteries that you have to stack up and put in there. I'm, I'm not doing it again. Like uh, you can see in the picture right here that it shows you you have to stack three batteries, tiny little batteries and put them in there. And it is honestly, it took me longer than this video is going to be uh, to get them in. And then to finally get them in and to have to take them out and put them back in again because I was wondering if maybe while I was trying to put them in, the um, they flipped one of them because of the magnet. Uh, but no, there I, I had to do it go through it like three times and it just won't turn on. So either the batteries are bad, which is really dumb, or my, my visor doesn't work, which is even worse. Um, so that's frustrating. I really don't want to deal with it, uh, to be honest with you. So I guess I just, even though it's one of the coolest features of the unit, uh, having the visor that works, I'm not going to leave it on all the time. So it's not the end of the world, but I would have loved to have actually been able to do it, you know, to show it off. But uh, the, the trooper itself is awesome. It's just such a poor design on that, that battery situation. Uh, they got to figure out a way to do better if they're ever going to do that again. Uh, because it's it's dumb. The way they did it is dumb. And I'm, I'm not going to hold any punches there. 
Because, like, I'm... Maybe if I came back, you know, an hour from now, I wouldn't feel the same as strongly. But I literally just spent 20 minutes trying to put batteries in a friggin' uh, Stormtrooper helmet. Like, that's ridiculous. Uh, this is a poor design. Uh, they need to do better if they're going to do that again. Uh, the tiny little batteries are the worst part. Uh, well, no, actually, the magnet is the worst part. So, uh, here he is. Uh, another very... I don't understand what they were doing here. I mean, this thing right here, it's stupid. It looks... It, I, I've i never complained, really, to be honest with you, about any of my hot toy or sideshow pieces. But, like, this base, it's like they're like, eh, good enough. Just send it to them. And we'll get these out before the movie. You know, this, this part, the top heat wasn't even on. Like, you have to actually stick it on yourself. Uh, which, you know, whatever. But, I mean, I would rather have it done for me so I don't screw it up. And then this, this is cheesy. I mean, it doesn't even stick to it. Like, am I doing it wrong? I don't think I'm doing it wrong. You know, there's, there's nothing, there's nothing to actually, like, put it in place. So, I just, I don't know. I, I love the, the silver plate. Like, I mean, that's awesome. And I do like the base. I mean, the base is really cool. It's just, I don't know, man. Like, all my figures have been delayed and delayed and delayed. So, I guess I'm glad I finally just got one. But, you know, if you're going to send something out, you got to do a little bit better than that. So, I really wish his visor lit up so I could show it to you. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. I love the figure, though, man. Like, I can't wait to see what this guy is all about. Um... Hopefully it's not like another Phasma situation where, you know, it's in the movie for like 10 seconds. I'm actually really looking forward to the Scarif Trooper. I have that one on pre-order as well. Um, I'm not getting, I mean, I might get Jyn or so after I see the movie, but at this point I'm not getting any other characters. Uh, just some of the Troopers, which I am a sucker for the Troopers, so... Uh, I mean, it's a great piece. I'm just, I think right now I'm just agitated with what I had to go through on the helmet and the fact that, you know, either I have bad batteries or the visor just flat out doesn't work. So, uh, there you go. There's my first Rogue One Hot Toys sideshow piece. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and yeah, man. I posed the best that I could. I'm not really good at posing, but uh, I also didn't use this little satchel piece. Um, I guess it goes in the back somewhere. Um, the little string, like shoulder strap, kind of just sticks out there. And I don't know, like, the blaster isn't going to really go there, so I'm not sure what's up with that. But, uh, from what I understand, I'm looking at the, I think this goes back here, and I think it's supposed to be like a pack for his, uh, looks like he has like a, like kind of missiles on it, little rocket, wrist rocket kind of situation. Looks like it's supposed to hold those, so. Um, no, actually, it does actually look like... Like, if you look here, uh, it does look like this gun actually will go on the, ho the holster on the side. So, uh, let's see if I can actually pull that off. Oh, wait, is this magnetic? Oh, nice. Okay. Well, here's a good use of magnets. Uh, we'll, we'll just go ahead and... Uh, Do it underneath the, uh, there we go. There we go. All right, well, that's good. So there's a good use of magnets, like, when they're not actually p pulling the batteries away from what you're trying to do. Uh, so there we go. There's the Death Trooper. I hope you guys liked the video and enjoyed it. Uh, we'll see you.